Welcome back. I'm Ashton Rizzo and for today temperatures started off a bit on the cooler side, but we warmed up nicely for the afternoon, got back into those low 80s for most of us. But like I said, we started off in the 40s for today. That's going to be kind of the pattern for the next couple of days. Not quite as cool in the 40s, but we will be cool at night, warming up into the afternoon. So we have just a clear, cool night for tonight, warm afternoon for tomorrow. I might even say hot because we'll be in the low 90s for tomorrow and then a slightly cooler day for for Friday until the low 90s return once again for Saturday. So a little bit of that back and forth pattern until fall kind of settles in for the end of next week. We started off at 42 degrees, so definitely a cool morning. If you were out, you wanted that heavier jacket, got up to 80 degrees, so about five degrees above our average high. However, though, our low wasn't near record breaking, still about 10 degrees off, set back in 2004. Right now, though, most of us are still sitting in the 80s, 80 degrees for Topeka, pushing middle 80s further out west right now. We have 85 for Junction City and 84 for Clay Center right now. Warm and sunny, lower 80s to upper 70s further out east though currently. And the air is just dry for most of us. We have a dew point of 43 right now in Topeka, 42 for Burlington. So this drier air is staying with us as we head into tomorrow as well. Last night, dew points even got down into the 30s for most of us, helping to really cool us down into those low 40s last night. Tonight, though, not quite as cool. We're going to fall into these middle to upper 50s for most of us. The winds are going to stay from the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then from the 50s, we're going to warm into the low 90s for tomorrow. So definitely a warmer day. Winds are going to remain from the south up to about 15, 20 miles per hour. So it's going to be a bit breezy at times. We're going to have some additional warm air. However, though, the difference between 90 right now and 93 months ago back in July is the humidity. Our humidity level are down, so it's not going to be that hot and sticky 90. We have dry air in place, but still lots of sunshine and warm temperatures for early October. Lots of blue in the sky, though, with our Emporia camera right now. Not a cloud out there. Similar look when we're looking west from Manhattan with our West Manhattan camera at the winery right now. Lots of green out there still. Those trees aren't quite changing colors yet, so we still see quite a bit of blue. And we're going to hang on to these clear skies for the next several days, really all of northeastern Kansas but not just northeastern Kansas, really just the lower half of the states right now, settling under this high pressure right now, giving us those clear skies. All of the action is really just staying further to towards the north of us in the jet stream right now, so we don't have any chances of rain in our seven day forecast, though we are just going to be staying mostly clear, lots of sunshine. As you can see, as we head into tonight, waking up tomorrow morning, a clear sky that's going to help elevate those temperatures back into the low 90s. Even as we head into Thursday now, we're looking at just mostly clear, lots of sunshine still. And then as we head into Friday, we do have just a few clouds passing by, but not bringing any rain with it, just mainly going to come and go very quickly quickly. And then here's that back and forth pattern I mentioned. We have 90 degrees there on Thursday, 81 for Friday, back into the low 90s for Saturday, and then finally falling down into those low 80s as we head into Sunday. And then eventually we will feel kind of like fall, especially as we head into Sunday into Monday night, 45 degrees once again, and then 70s return as we head into the middle of next week. So we just got to get through a few more 90s before we can feel fall. Well, hopefully Saturday's the last 90. <laughs> yes, that hopefully would be nice. so. I would hope so, especially because we're entering, you know, by then mid-October eventually. And we are getting incredibly dry as well. Yes, which is nice. Yeah.